You're watching GB News America with me, Mark Dolan. Let's speak now to the celebrated broadcaster and journalist Ashley Sinclair. Ashley, Happy New Year to you. What is the current state of illegal immigration into the United States? Hi, right, Mark. Thank you guys for having me. It is not good, Mark. I will tell you, in December alone, we had a record number of illegal immigrants cross our border, almost a quarter million. Our southern border here in America is essentially an open border to the world. And I know you guys over in Europe are dealing with similar issues. I spoke over in Florence with Matteo Salvini and some other leaders in Europe. And this is a global issue that's affecting all Western countries, uh, especially as it relates to these asylum and refugee treaties. Could this issue prove decisive at the next election? Absolutely. This is the top issue, at least for the GOP here in America. We had many Republican leaders, including our Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, who just did a trip down to our southern border. Though I don't know if I'm hopeful if they're going to do anything substantial. We need to hold people like Mayorkas accountable here. And nobody really seems to be doing anything substantial. We need to hold the Biden administration accountable because this is a very administration specific issue. They are allowing anybody who comes here and claims asylum to stay here. And some of these individuals don't have court dates to even vet their asylum claims until the 2030s mark. How would you respond, Ashley, to voices on the left who would say that actually America needs this cheap labor and it needs young people? First of all, I would say that's probably racist to say that the only thing immigrants are good for is cheap labor. But second of all, it's not just about that. It is we do not have the infrastructure for this. If you go down to any of the border states or what they call sanctuary cities here now, like New York City, they are completely overwhelmed. We do not have the infrastructure for it. Our hospitals are overwhelmed here in New York City, where I live. We just had to send kids home from school at a high school because they are now using that high school to house illegal migrants who came here because there's nowhere else to put them. We're spending a billion dollars over the course of the next three years to house them in hotels. We simply don't have the infrastructure. We have some of these migrants going quite literally door to door knocking for food. It's also not great for the migrants itself, is it? I do think it has parallels with what's happening in Europe and the United Kingdom, that the migrant crisis is a, an economic crisis because of the cost to the US taxpayer. It's a humanitarian crisis because it's bad for the migrants. And it's a national security crisis, too, because you don't know who these people are. Absolutely. Like I said, we don't know who these people are. We've seen a 900% increase in Chinese nationals. We have a lot of people coming over from Africa, from the Middle East. This, there's a misconception that it's only Hispanics or people from South America who are coming across our border. But again, our border is essentially an open border to the world. They are coming from all mm -hmm. over. And then once they get across the border, they are then boarding planes. And some of these folks are able to use arrest warrants as ID. Because what happens is when they get to the southern border, they they discard their IDs because they don't want us knowing who they are. Some of these folks are coming across with teardrop tattoos. So not only do they kill people, but they want you to know that they kill people. And they're discarding their IDs all along the border. Uh, this is all happening on the watch of President Joe Biden. Does Donald Trump have a serious plan in place to tackle the problem? Well, certainly, if you look at the record of Donald Trump and even Obama, again, this is very administration specific. We did not see this issue this severe under either Obama or President Trump. Obviously, as most people know, President Trump has a very hard line stance on immigration, as he should, in my opinion. Again, this is still at the forefront of his policy for his 2024 run. So hopefully, whether it's Trump or somebody else, I know Vivek Ramaswamy also cares deeply about the issues of immigration. I went down to the border with him back in September. There are most candidates care about this. But for whatever reason, the Biden administration seems to be wanting to import these folks who on record and on camera have said they love Joe Biden. They would vote for Joe Biden. We have bills all across the United States attempting to be passed. One was passed here in New York and then struck down by a higher court to allow non-citizens to vote in our local elections. There are some areas where they're trying to pass bills to allow them to vote in federal elections. It is absolutely bananas.
Uh, Elon Musk has been on his social media platform X and he's been tweeting about this issue and he's mentioned your city, New York, where they've been closing schools to accommodate migrants. And he has said they'll be coming for your homes next. Is this overstating the situation? No. And in fact, they're already coming for our homes. Like I said, if you go to certain areas of Staten Island, they're going door to door to knock for food. Same case in these border towns. I had one Arizona rancher and farmer who told me they are leaving food drops for the migrants so that they don't kill and eat their cattle, so that they don't come to their doors. They very much already coming to our homes. Very much here in New York, we're seeing rent increases because these migrants are getting free housing. Again, a billion dollars over the next three years to house these folks.